hello if you're new here welcome and for my auditions how are you all doing i believe everybody's doing amazing today is a wash day routine and i'm going to use just only this two product it's a quick wash day okay as you can see clearly from here i'm using vertica hot oil cream which also says as a deep conditioning and as well i'm using my amla oil to mix it up it says a combination of oils because this right here is just amazing so yes if you have not been using amla oil i am recommending this to you all it's really good it lifts the hair dark strong healthy and the smell is not all that pleasant but if you are going to use this right here you you will definitely see a tremendous growth in your hair care journey forget about the smell mix it use it in your deep conditioners or your conditioners you know use it and then your hair is going to look amazing don't forget to like share and subscribe if you've not done that already we are on a journey to keep our hair more healthy strong and good looking sorry guys for the gum that i was chewing <laughs> i realized that i was chewing gum throughout those videos so i am so sorry about that yes i am um, just one week post relaxer and i felt like my hair just needed a hot oil treatment which says is a deep conditioner from vertica that is what i felt like my hair needs always i tell you all listen to your darling hair okay if your hair feels like you need a hot oil treatment go for it don't go for a protein treatment okay see as i was listening to my hair i am just one week post relaxer so i decided to do a deep condition on dry hair my scalp is not all that dirty it's not dirty basically it's just one week and i told you all that after a relaxer day i wash my hair every week every week if you've not watched the video i posted before this kindly check it out okay right after this and you understand what i am saying right here i shared a video of how often should you wash your hair after relaxer day so yes this is one week post relaxer and i decided to do a horse oil treatment using amla oil for fast hair growth you know this oil is just amazing so i started to just apply on my dry hair i felt i needed a hot oil treatment not a protein treatment next week god willing i am going to do a protein treatment okay so listen to your hair if you think you need just a conditioner to just give your hair the hydration it needs the moisture it needs go ahead and do it listen to your darling hair and if you think you need to see a hair stylist okay go and do it so i make sure everywhere is coated with the vertical hot oil treatment with my amla oil and <laughs> guys i kept laughing at myself how i was chewing <laughs> the gum but you know i'm sorry my auditions don't forget to like share and subscribe if you've not done that already so i did the other side off camera and then i covered it up for just 40 minutes okay but i think you can do it 30 minutes i did not apply any heat i just i was just walking around the house just cleaning the house okay and then yeah i covered it up with the t-shirt because i just didn't want to add any heat to the hair so yeah i've been using vertica for four years now and trust me it's a bit scarce at the shops hardly can you find them but once in a while you can definitely find them in your stores we don't want to break the bank to get products okay i want you to check inside your stores go to the supermarket or any hair care shops check inside you definitely find vertica oil 
or vertical hot oil treatment any product from vertical is absolutely amazing and as well go in for your amla oil my hair is growing beautifully and i'm loving my journey just that handling long hair is is not easy guys and also as i say this please be gentle on your hair when you're washing your hair be gentle do not use your fingertips some people say when they use their fingertips they are okay that is you just do what is best for your hair okay so i just braided it into two sections and as usual used my t-shirt to air dry it a bit okay to soak in the excess water in the hair and then come to my studio my mini studio okay that i do my hair here sometimes i can edit here and all that there is a vlog coming soon that i'll be sharing soon so watch out for the vlog okay for my natural hair gangs and the male friends that i have on here also i know that you all have been waiting for a vlog so it's gonna come soon yes yeah, so that's my scarf i am going to air dry my hair i am not going to use heat i'll show you in a bit what i'm going to be using so i use dark and lovely moisturizer this right here is amazing this we've been using it for ages if you've not tried this try it and if you have tried it and it, ha it did not go well for you everyone's hair type is different so yes don't forget to like share and subscribe keep your comment down below if there's any question you need to know just let me know in the comment section below and as i said i am one month post uh, i am one week hey god of mercy have mercy I am one week post relaxer, yes, and I do not air dry or blow dry my hair without any leave-in. If you blow dry your hair without any leave-in, your hair would dry out super that it can cause breakage as well, okay? And always focus on the ends and your scalp, okay? Those are the places where keeps the hair growing beautifully your ends if your ends are weak it's gonna break off and you would not see any length you might think your hair is not growing no you because your ends are breaking off you think your hair is not growing your hair really grows but your ends are always not taken care of so please take good care of your ends and your edges okay keep moisturizing your edges and it's gonna grow beautifully don't do tight braids okay if you go and you sit down and your hair stylist is braiding your edges so tight please tell them they should not go closer to your edges and your edges are gonna grow out beautifully so yes i use this brush to just push the front of my hair so that i can use my scarf to just hold the front of the hair the edges basically so that i would blow dry my hair on cool settings so yeah doing this method has really helped as well you know make sure you get a blow dryer that has three settings on it the first one is so cool okay second is medium and then the third one is high on a heat level but on this one i used the first one okay because i wanted that cool breeze on the hair i don't want heat on the hair okay yeah i've been using this blow dryer more often and yeah my hair journey is okay it's not where i want it to be now but it is okay than before and yeah my hair was like 90 percent dried so yeah i took down the scarf and yeah you could see how my edges are laid down this is what i was looking for okay so i was saying it's a bit away from the roots but i was not going to sleep at that moment so obviously it's gonna dry so yeah that's how my hair journey is going make sure you take care of your hair and i'll see you in my next video bye